Hey everybody, how's it going? We're here with the Day 61 update. So that is the air conditioner. Sonny's guys wound up moving it, which is great. The other gentlemen that showed up were very nice, kind people, but the person upstairs really wanted us to do that on his timetable, which was either ridiculous early, early in the morning or ridiculously late on weekends or something like that. So it wound up working out with, we, we had to go with and have Sonny's person move that. That got moved, which is really awesome, as you can see there, no more AC in the way. Uh, if you go over here, these electrical outlets are at a point where they're actually working. So I remember Eugene essentially put them up here and then just left them here so that it could look like it was ready to move on to the next part of the project. Sonny actually moved on to the next part of the project. Uh, we did not bury the junction box for many people who were asking no burying junction box bad. So we have an access panel for that and some other stuff got rewired up here. The electrician that showed up actually pointed out that there was something about the way that the gate was wired that was not to code. So he actually redid my gate wiring for me because he felt bad and he had a, a, an explanation that, uh, for how it was the way it was and I honestly don't remember. But Sonny will show up in a, in a future video. As you can see, we're getting started with this life proof flooring over here. They've started to lay all of this and it looks like they're doing that in my office. We wound up keeping the stupid deck for the office because like out here, it's like 90% level the way Sonny did it. But what they did in here was they made it closer to 100% level. And this is back when they actually cared about what they were doing. So like this is the, the person who did my office was not the idiot from Eugene's team. That was the person who actually had half a fucking brain. So this is actually, you know, good. It's, it's properly shimmed. There's insulation under there. It doesn't creak or squeak or any stupid shit. So I'm going to wind up putting that life proof flooring that one of you guys recommended on there. Uh, this is what someone recommended from Home Depot. Some other guy is a flooring expert guy that recommended this. There was somebody else in my chat who actually started soldering onto it and he sent me a video of him beating it with a wrench and everything and it so I wound up going with this. Sonny wound up actually going above and beyond. And here's the thing, usually what contractors do is they, they mark up the materials that they're selling to you. So I realized with Home Depot, if I use a VPN, I could get the price down from something like 320 to 270. Sonny wound up getting it for something like 220 to 250 and he passed the savings on to me. So Sonny took time out of his day to pick up all of this crap and he didn't charge me extra, he actually charged me less than what I would have paid from Home Depot's own website to buy all this stuff. Like, what kind of contractor does that? What kind of person actually charges you less than what you would have paid if you went to the place and bought it yourself with, a, with quantity? Adam, these are some lights that we got. It's gonna take a while to hang all of this stuff. Uh, these are some pretty nice lights. I'll probably link in the description below. Who am I kidding? I'll probably forget. Uh, you can ask Paul, though. He'll, he'll let you know what these are. This is, uh, here's the skew if you want to look it up. We're going to replace all the fluorescent lights with these. They look really nice. So all this fluorescent junk is going to get replaced with these LEDs. They're dimmable LEDs, which is really cool. And that's about that. So really all that's left is laying all that flooring out there. And, you know... Uh, cleaning up the paint on the walls, electrical outlets, and, and we're, we're done. You know, I, I need to buy some of the desks. I wanted to wait until the floor was perfectly done in the office just so we'd have a place to store all those desks because none of us here are really looking forward to hauling almost a ton of global industrial desks down to the basement. But that, that's what comes next, and I'm really happy with the way this is coming along. Like There are so many little areas, so many little things where Sonny has just said, oh yeah, I can get that cheaper than what you would get it for and it's the same thing. Or, oh yeah, let me pick that up for you so you could save on delivery and not bill you. It's just like, why? And I got a t message from him where he said, you know, when I opened my own store after you let me go, I kind of got Eugene as well. I know what it feels like and that's part of what led me to, you know, learn this and also get into contact with all these different tradespeople in all these different fields so that I would never have this happen to me again. And that's how he got into it, you know, from getting screwed. It's honestly a similar story to what I was going through with board repair, where I was getting screwed by the person who was doing it for me. I knew nothing about board repair, but I figured I can do it better than these jackasses. And it's a similar story with him. And so, yeah, the, the floor out there is, I would say, maybe like 90% level at this point, not 100%, but the cost to get it to 100% is just, and the time it takes to get it to 100% was just not something I was going for. And he, he got it to like where it's really close. And they're already starting to lay down this stuff. Uh, the electrical outlets are close to done. The, um, 
the air conditioner has been moved. Like all I really got to do at this point is have them, you know, clean up the paint, finish laying the floor, and we're ready to start moving in. And I'm pretty, pretty happy with how quickly he took the job and all the stuff that we wanted done. It's, uh, you know, just very, very happy overall. Oh, also, he joked with me while I was away. He sent me a message saying, oh, yeah, I got the results of your STD test back because all of you were saying that the, that the tile was, um, everybody was saying that the tile on the floor was uh, asbestos tile, which it was not. I remember checking with the landlords, and I also remember having that checked out before I moved in here because I was quite paranoid about that. My attorney also told me, make sure that that's not asbestos, because it says in the lease, if there is asbestos, we want to negotiate in that the building gets rid of it, not you. So we, we checked that, but everybody kept commenting and saying, that's asbestos, that's asbestos. So I'm like, oh, God damn it. So I, I wound up you know, pushing Sonny to get it tested for me. He showed me the results of the test, and no asbestos. So that, that, that's pretty much that. I actually wound up buying this ridiculous industrial $800 air filter just because I was worried, what if it is, what if it is, what if it is? But it wasn't. And apparently, all the due diligence in this project was done before I signed the lease. It, it's all the due, it, like after was when it all went to shit. But I, I actually did a lot of my due diligence before I signed the lease. The one part of this project where I completely, totally, 190% fucked up was listening to referrals and trusting referrals for a contractor. I, but everything I did before that was very, very detailed. I looked into everything. I had numerous people show up. And one of the things that we did was make sure that there were no asbestos in the tile. Because if there is asbestos in the tile, you need to get rid of that shit before we move here. And that's also a way that you could extend your lease date. So one of the things you could do once you sign the lease to kind of buy time to get your moving in order is you can say, okay, you need to get rid of the asbestos and the lease commencement date will begin when you get rid of the asbestos. So let's say I sign the lease and I pay my first, last, and deposit. I can still show up here. I can still do all of my work. I can still have a set of keys, but technically I wouldn't start paying rent until the date that they got rid of the asbestos. So if there was asbestos, it was in my financial interest to find it before we moved in here because I could use that as an excuse to, you know, get more free rent, which is, which is great. And I appreciate that my lawyer pointed that out to me. But that is not the way it wound up uh, being, which is, again, a good thing because that, but yeah, that was one of the areas where I would have had a heart attack. But yeah, this is, this is looking good. This is all this flooring. Lots of life proof, life proof, life proof, life proof. More life proof. It's proof of life. I don't know why they call it that. It feels good, though. It feels better than the stuff that I have in the front of the store right now. The stuff I have in the front of the store at my old place is just, oh, my God. If you've walked in there and you see it, it's just this cheap. I don't know if it was like 25 or 75 cents a square foot, whatever it was. It was total shit. And so we wound up doing life proof for the front, and we were getting some ceramic tile. I mean, we were getting life proof for the whole store, this vinyl stuff and then some ceramic tile for the front area because it's more high traffic and that's where there's gonna be you know, people with the, more people walking back and forth, more people walking in when it's wet and the bad weather and all that. So, I, I, as you can also see, I went with the color that Mr. Jeff sent me and I'm, I'm also ordering the acoustic panels tomorrow. I wound up getting a decent quantity discount. ATS Acoustics gave me not really much of a discount and the shipping was really expensive. Whereas the, what was it? The Acoustimac gave me a really good discount in the DMD mesh fabrics. So I wound up going, I'm gonna be ordering those because this, this, re, this early reflection thing is kind of driving me nuts. And I also gotta find someone to hang the lights that Sonny's people are not gonna be able to do because they have other projects to get to. And you know, there's only so much that he can do for me at the moment. So I'm probably gonna have Paul and the, one of the individuals who helped me put my store together helped me hang all these lights. I'm really excited to see how these look. Uh, Paul also got some mounts coming so that each, essentially it's gonna be one strip down the entire, so it's gonna be not like separate like this, it's just gonna be one even strip from one end to the other of nice LED lights. And these, I like the adjustable. They have cold and warm LEDs inside, or you could turn on half the cold and half the warm to get the 4000K, which is what I plan to do with them. so that because you can adjust, you can dim them easily with the switch, but if you want to change the color temperature, you actually have to get on the ladder and change it in each individual light. And I'm not, I'm not doing that. But this is kind of cool. Take a look at this. Look at this floor. Look at this. 
Obviously, I mean, you got to get rid of the cardboard. It's kind of stupid that I'm showing you cardboard right now. It's actually really stupid that I'm showing you cardboard right now. But I'm happy. This is... I'm going to kick Sonny in the dick if this file stuff doesn't work because it's all up here like this. This doesn't look very nice, actually. Yeah. I mean, he, he could have put the file stuff in the, in the fucking bathroom while he was... God damn it, Sonny. <laughs> I, I, he does a good job. I can't really complain, but I really, I really hope that the file stuff isn't fucked from all this dust in it. Verizon's not going to be happy if I asked him to replace that at all. Not at all.